Hey you guys, it's Tilly and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you guys what I picked up uh, in terms of sticker kits that I'm gonna be using in my budget planner for the month of February. So let's just go ahead and hop right into it. I'm gonna be using another planner cake kit. It is kit 305 and it is like the Valentine's Day one, like you see it there. So I decided to do another planner cake kit. My January kit was a planner cake kit. I'm honestly gonna just try a slew of shops just because I feel like that way I can kind of get an idea of what I really want to use and the month of January has already taught me a lot of what uh, I like and what I don't necessarily like too much in the budget stickers. So let me just first show you guys the stickers that I picked up. So I did pick up the weekly check-in sheet and in case you're curious this is 305B2 super cute and then I picked up the transaction log I picked up the sinking funds oh the transaction one is b6 and then this is b4 and then I picked up the spending uh, one and this is b5 so I only picked up these three as I've said before I don't pick up the budget one because I've created my own um, worksheet that I use and then all I do is I cut it and I um, use my little craft glue and I put it into my planner it makes it it just works for me because it has like boxes and I don't have to draw lines and for me when it comes to the actual numbers part um, of the actual budget itself I like for it to be I like for it to look crisp and clean just because it helps just me and not feel like I'm kind of like everywhere um, so I don't pick up the budget worksheet and that's fine I don't think I will unless I I don't know I really I, honestly I don't think no matter whose uh stickers I pick up I don't think I'll ever use the budget work uh the budget stickers just because my worksheet works for me um I do like the weekly check-ins I feel like it's helped a lot I feel like I'm also reevaluating what I want to check in with every week um so that's something that I'm going to test again in the month of February and see if that's those are the check-ins that I still want to use and then for March I'll probably reevaluate and then just go ahead and uh, select different ones if I need to but right now this sticker sheet is still something that is working for me and then I have the spending and the spending tracker and the transaction log now I found that for me these two I don't think I need these two separate because and maybe that's just because in January I've done a really great job of not buying anything unless it like it was already budgeted for like groceries um I think in January so far I think I just put gas in for the first time this month so it's I, I'm not spending a lot I'm really honing in on my goal for the year and I haven't spent anything now that could change within you know the next couple of months as the year progresses and you know I have to start buying things to replace things and you know just what kind of comes as the year progresses but I think I'm going to try these out again but I really have not been using them so I don't know if this is something that I would continue to buy to, I would buy both of them I may just buy the spending tracker and use that because I'm just really not using both of them not that they're expensive you know to buy I think they're each like a dollar fifty but it's just not something that I think I need right now and then if I'm not mistaken I think from like a year two years ago when I tried using stickers in my budget planner I think I have a transaction or spending tracker log so if I end up needing one of the two then I'll have it so there's that and then I do have the sinking funds one and I actually really like this one I think the only thing is because I have a ton of sinking funds I can't use both the header uh, sticker and the uh, footer sticker along with you know these two strips. I, it's pretty much just the top one and then the category sticker right here because I just have a lot of them. So I think that's the only downside is like I can't use all of the stickers to its full potential because I have so many funds. But I mean also that can change but I do like using the extra washi for the other parts of the month. That way it kind of looks like it's cohesive and you know all meant to be together so I love that about it and this is definitely one that I would continue to purchase just because 
it's been nice to actually know how much I have in the sinking funds because before I would just add to it, take away from it, and then the only way that I would know how much I had was by checking the fund itself. Um, so I think that this is had been, this has been very helpful um, so far in January. Okay, so the things that I outside of these two that I found that just kind of don't work. So what I like about this one is that it has the category how much it starts at if you add subtract anything and then the end and I kind of wish that this check-in one uh functioned similar to this one and it had the same labels because when I look at my check-ins I think of them in a particular way and I think that's what's difficult sometimes is when you're using uh sticker shops kits it's kind of based off of how they also see it or how maybe the majority of their uh, customers see a budget set up and so it's not going to fit everyone so what I've done in January and I'll show you guys I think when uh when I do my budget recap I think I might show you guys but if I don't but here's what I do I've changed it up so then I just put stickers on top of what's already listed so category spent and remaining and then I add kind of what I want so like started with what has been added subtracted and then the ending balance because that's how it works best for me so I'm gonna when I look at other sticker shops, I'm going to see if they have something similar to that. I'm also thinking maybe it just means that I need to kind of get, I know Sarah Marie uh, sells them and I think Planner Kate does, but just like the, those, just the script stickers that say like budget plus minus or, you know, balance and things like that. And then maybe make my own, um, like little, little sticker kit I'm not sure but I think that's the thing for me is like I've found that that's been helpful I don't necessarily use these except for a divider and at that point I also still don't know if I necessarily need them because in January what I found is I needed to track five weeks and I didn't have enough space <laughs> so once again maybe it's because I have too many categories we'll see but I think that's the other thing is like I need, I don't know, I feel like I need more of a blank slate. So if you guys know of sticker shops that offer more of a blank slate or have different um, like headers right here, let me know because it's something that I wanna try out to see if it works. I don't mind kind of making the kit my own, but I would prefer for it to just kind of be ready to go. Um, I know that, please, if I butchered it, please let me know, but it, playing with Lyric, I've seen her budget um, pictures on her Instagram and she also like does like a start with in her uh, check-in and I really like that because for me I like to know what I start with um, not just what I've spent and what's left just I don't know I'd like to see the whole picture um, so there's that but this is what I'm going to be using for the month of February like I said I've used Planner Kate for um, the first two months or I'll be using her for the first two months and then Hopefully when I find another sticker shop, I'm planning on using them for another two months just to kind of get a feel because I think with one month, sometimes you feel like this does this isn't going to work. Um, but I feel like if you give it a shot again the second time, you can continue to see like if this is really something that you need to like move in the direction of finding something that does X, Y, and Z for you and that's gonna work better for you and your budget. So that is what I'm kind of working towards. So like I said, I am looking for sticker shops that have different like little categories or things like that. So let me know if you know any, but I already have a couple of shops in mind that I want to try out. So it's just now which one um, I want to try out first. So with that, if you guys liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.